Welcome to ZCast, everyone. I'm ZS Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at the NFL Tech Conference in Denver. I'm with Larissa Horton, CEO of Sumer Sports. Larissa, how you been? Good. How are you? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's great. In fact, the event's been a lot of fun. Um, uh, it's been a little while since I caught up with you. So uh, I know here at this show, you're demoing some new features in your AI product. Yep. Uh, and uh, let's talk about them. The first one is an update to Sumer Brain. Now, the last time I talked to you, we didn't actually talk about what Sumer Brain was. Uh, so uh, why don't you start with that? What is Sumer Brain and what's new in it? Yeah, so I'm going to go back to why did we even build Sumer Brain? Yeah, why did you build Sumer Brain? It's <laughs> a cool is, name, though. It is. I, <laughs> we're really excited about it. So one of the biggest challenges we found in football is that there is a lot of data that you need to be able to retrieve very quickly to a very specific amount of detail. So like one of the examples we were just showing today was of the 2025 draft class, who had a certain grade from our scouts was a certain weight, a certain height, and had a 40 speed of a certain, like faster than four or five. That's very specific. Very specific. Specific, right? yeah. And the reason you have these very specific queries is they are looking for the needle in the haystack, like who is that one player that we should add to our, our team, our roster to make that difference, right? And also, obviously, a lot of these contracts are fairly large valued. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of teams that actually have a lot of dead cap, meaning it's money spent that they aren't necessarily getting value out of because of existing contracts. So they're very careful about these decisions. And um, as we started looking at all the different user experiences to find film, to prove the player, to then grade the player, it was like, there's just a lot. And we said, okay, well, why don't we just use LLM technology so that you can just describe what you're looking for and we'll bring all of those assets to you. And also start to join information. And the joining information is important because most of the scouts and a lot of GMs live off of film, meaning they're watching all the time, they're going to in-person as well. Um, and then from there, you have like analytics that are producing grades, but how do you like bring all of that together? Like they just typically are different workflows. And so mm -hmm. we wanted to bring it together. So now with Sumer Brain, we have created an LLM agent. It is a football specific agent. We have trained this to understand the game of football, the positions, um, all of the things that are expected of each position. And it understands the NFL version, understands contracts, it understands um, film and all of the stats that we've produced, especially the advanced football analytics stats that we produce. That's a lot of parameters. Oh, it's a ton. It's a yeah. ton. I mean, it's looking at things like how many contested catches were there in this game or over this season mm. during a third quarter. Like, there's like so many different variables. And you can imagine like a lot of these search experiences just have tons and tons of drop downs that it's an it's not a great user experience. Yeah. It's very overwhelming. I'm not even sure how you would search on that one. Oh, there is like that, literally yeah. so many different uh, uh, different drop boxes on this. And we're like, how do we make this better, easier? And so this is where the LLM experience comes in. Um, so we built this Sumer Brain. Uh, for football, and we've actually created two versions of it, one for fantasy and one for NFL teams. And it allows you to bring back film. Like you can actually say, show me the snaps uh, when this thing happened. And you can have a very detailed set of parameters. Um, you can do things like, you know, what would a contract look like if I kept this person because he's up for contract renewal? And it would understand like, what are the needs of other teams, how much cap space do they have and how much would they offer, what's like the going rate for that. So it takes all of this information and makes it easy to access. Uh, we were really excited to be able to develop new AI on top of existing foundational models that is just specific to football. So that's been a really fun project. That's exciting. Yeah, and so what's new in Sumer Brain? Well, the new part, well, first off, it's new in that we haven't officially released it. Okay. It's going to oh. go. Oh, yeah, so this is the, it's been, the debutante ball. Yeah, we had, we've had it in a beta yeah. for a couple of months. So there's about 200 users that and we're using it. And it's available on your website, right, to try out? Uh, to try out yeah. for beta users, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you get accepted into the beta. Yeah. Um, and then it's going to launch first in fantasy and then in the, um, in the B2B space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's so exciting because you start to do things like comparing people on your roster that you want to sit start, but also doing things like, who should I play in the flex position? Mm -hmm. And again, there's a lot of user experiences around this, but you could league sync in, and so it would know your league, it'll know all the rules that your commissioner has put in place, and how to actually make the best decision based on previous production, the weather, like so many different factors. Well, given I finished second five times in my league, <laughs> I might need a sumo brain to get me over the hump. Uh, this is awesome, yeah. for sure. We'll definitely yeah, yeah. get that to you. Um, now, so, what, yeah, what, so are the, what are the teams that have seen it been most interested in, the betas? Um, I think the excitement has been around, one, there's a lot of ad hoc 
hoc queries that they get asked to do. They're like, hey, can you get me, you know, the film for this particular situation? And to get the film, you have to go and like create reports with specific analytics to then find the snap IDs and the snap IDs then leads you to the film. And then you have to create a cut up. And in our case, we actually tie all that together. You're able to just ask the question and you get all that information at once. And so it's the pace and efficiency. And then there's also just the amount of ad hoc work can really minimize um, based on using this tool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to add about Sumo Brain? Uh, no, I mean, uh, other than we're really excited for everyone yeah. to give it a try, especially for fantasy, the amount of research that you can do with this tool. We have tested it against everything on the market, and we believe it is the best football AI for the consumers. Well, it's going to be put to the test this season. I'll give you that much. I'm excited. So, yeah. Um, in fact, you should create a whole league of Sumer Brains and see which one wins. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, the other new product here was Film Room, yep. and I saw a little demo. That's fascinating. So talk about what that is. Yeah, we are so excited. I mean, as you know, I came from WebEx yeah. and we've been working on video infrastructure and video experiences for so long. First, so. It took, it's amazing it took that long to modernize how they look at film. Uh, yeah, it is. Um it in fact, is you call a it process. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, we actually, if you look in our user experience, it's still called cut-ups. Okay. And I was like, why are we calling them cut-ups? They're like, oh, because we used to cut the film yeah. and tape them and create a cut-up, yeah. um, a physical cut-up. And so all of that terminology definitely <laughs> stayed. Um, but yeah, the amount of, I mean, a lot of these uh, clubs actually have whole teams, like upwards of eight people that are just creating cut-ups on film. And so we looked at what did we learn from, you know, building tools like WebEx, uh, using tools like VidCast in the past. And how do we apply that to football? And so we created an entire new film room that allows you to comment directly on film, at mention people, so you can do film distribution very quickly. You can grade right on film, so they grade players all the time on their speed, their agility, their get off, all the different traits based on position. And for non football people, that would be done like on pen and paper, right? It is, yes. Yeah. Like, all of these guys have a notebook and they're basically writing down, I was watching this game and I was looking at this player and he did this thing really well. Yeah. And then they collect all of these insights across all the games they watch and then they write a report. And that scouting report gets used in terms of deciding if you're gonna draft someone, trade someone, do a bunch of different things on your roster. So yeah, so we're completely changing mm. that entire paradigm. <clears throat> we're using all of the modern you know, techniques of watching film and adding all the metadata while you watch film and then being able to retrieve all of that information. So there is no need to create a cut up, like it's just search on top of all the comments and you'll be able to get all that information right. and it'll auto generate it for and, you. And you can comment through voice as you said. So yeah. if a certain player missed his block, you could, you could say that and yeah. it would tag it on the screen. Yeah, so there's two big things that we try to really incorporate into the workflow. The first one is this remote. They're so used to watching film with a very specific remote, Gotta and it a... allows them to fast forward, rewind, like go back and forth and watch it. So that same remote is integrated into our film room. And then on top of that- Versus just the keyboard? Yeah, they don't like keyboards, <laughs> okay. they don't like computers. Um, and then on top of that, being able to like pause and just use voice to be able to add all of your comments and your feedback instead of having to write it down. Like the thing for us is we have to make it as fast or faster or better. Yeah. And for them, it's like, I know my pen will work. I know my paper will work. It's very hard to replace that. And it's a workflow they're very used to. Um, so this was like, oh, there's a change. Why are we changing it? Change management is hard. Um, but when they saw the benefit of having, you know, reports auto-generated for them and being able to use voice, because they're literally saying these things out loud anyways, then it was like, oh, okay, this is going to be a little more efficient. So we're able to collect so much more insight on this film and to create insights that are directly tied to film. So it's not just data, it's data with the lineage all the way back to what situation happened on the field that led to this particular insight. All right. And how much data are we talking about that you're working with here? Um, we have seasons of data. Um, I think every category of our platform has different amounts. I think our contracts, we go back to 2011. Um, uh, on the college side, we have, you know, five to seven years. Yeah. Um, and so it's yeah. not just pro, it's also college. It's not just pro. It yeah. is also college as well. So yeah. yeah. So oh. it's, uh, yeah, pro, we work directly with the NFL, so they give us access to data. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, anything else you want to add? No, that's yeah. it. Okay. That's well, it. those are some fantastic product updates. If people want to see them, they can just go to sumersports.com uh, yep. and, and uh, check them out there. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, well, uh, look for it in your fantasy season. If you're not working for the NFL, if yeah, you are, then definitely check us out for yeah, fantasy season. Yeah, so, all right. Uh, well, then on behalf of Loris Horton, the CEO of Sumer Sports, I'm Zia Scaraval from ZK Research, and thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like and also hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on my next episode of ZCast.